This is BMAC here for Podcast 86 today. Thank you for tuning in once again to this podcast on YouTube. Again, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Again, I say that word a lot, but I mean it. Subscribe as much as possible. Um, we are working on getting a in college on here very soon. I'm looking forward to getting that feature involved. You can go to call at 781-503-5800. That's 781-503-5800. That is our number. So today, I want to talk about something really quick. Um, they have been rumors about Mars that there could be life on that planet or fossils, fossils in life. But I've also heard that there's a lot of water on Mars. So the question is just, What's really on Mars? You know, is there life we don't know about? Are there aliens that exist? Are there Martians that are around the world we don't, we don't hear about? You know, that's a real question I have. You know, could they be, you know, enemies of the planets we never even encountered yet? We don't know what, what goes on. And it's really quite, quite uh, extraordinary. Well, I'm not sure. It's interesting because... You know, well, we haven't explored other planets yet. We don't know what's on the planet, but thankfully, we have sophisticated space people that report on that. That will look at the all that calibration, and they report it to us. Legit media news reporting it to us. That you know, it's. But we never know what is it. What is on the planets? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know, we don't know about what's on other planets. You know, what's well, Pluto? We don't know what Pluto is yet. But Mars, if we could get an astronaut on Mars, that would be awesome. I would love to. Hope one day that can happen. And again, we got to thank our vets for what they do for us as every Thank you, vets, for doing what you guys have done. And continue to do. Uh, Celtics legend Tommy Heinsohn died at the age of 86. I actually got to know Tommy. Um, I met him a couple times at a Celtics game. First time. He was a barrel of laughs. Very, very nice guy. Uh, he was always uh, he was he was he was a homer through and through. We would always have the referees, which I thought was hilarious. You know, with referees. You know, we'd be yelling all the time. They made a foul. He'd go, what? That's a stupid foul. Which I would love that he used to do. And he was a very charismatic charismatic guy. And he just, he, 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 he did not care who you were when, but he would, he would school you in any way he could possible. Um, he was great. That's what I great about him. He, he didn't give any inch whatsoever as to who you were. You know, if you were a ref, look out because he, he would call you out. I wish there were more broadcasters like that that would, you know, be homers. I mean, Mike Gorman, I guess, kind of a homer in certain ways because he gets excited when we score a basket on the Celtics. He's a nice guy, too, Mike Gorman. And Scalabrini, Scal. Very nice guy. I met him a couple times. One time. At Perkins, when they were at the to achieve event every year with the Celtics. Um, Scout showed up when you were Marquise Daniels. And they read a story, a book, and then would take questions. And one of my friends, Campbell, who I went to school with, asked, Who's your favorite basketball player? And I said, I said, KG, Paul, Ray, uh, Rondo, Marquise. Rajon, and I said, Scal, I'm going to put you on the last list. Um, so that's a classic that I would always diss him because he didn't play that much. <laughs> but it's fun to joke around with him about stuff. You know, I, he, he gets it. He, he gets a joke. Um, so I hope you guys like that story. I want to see your feedback on that with the Celtics and where they're headed this year. You know, I'd love to. I would love to see another, another championship one. That would be huge. If we could get that, that would be it. 
that would be a, a, a remarkable thing for the show to end on a championship this year. But we'll see what happens. But then again, guys, thank you for tuning in to my podcast. This has been Podcast 86. Again, subscribe if you can. Again, if you have any comments, please email me at brian.mccauley1 at gmail.com for all inquiries and questions. And I uh, hope you guys can call in soon. We're looking, we're, I'm looking forward to engaging with you, the audience, see what your thoughts are. We can go on all kinds of terms and stuff like that, all kinds of changes. And I'm very really emphasizing that. Please call in. Please, 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 please call in. I can't say that enough either. So I can't say enough either. Subscribe and please call in because it would be great. I'm looking forward to that. So thank you guys. And we'll see you guys for podcast 87 and 88 next Wednesday and next Thursday. And again, see you guys for lunch bunch. If you guys can make it at 12 o'clock, for those of you who know about it, I run an online group here at this program, lunch bunch at 12 o'clock at noon. So see you guys later on for that. So thank you guys.